Hello everyone. Hope you're having a good Monday. Uh, I think the temperature's gone up a little bit and it seemed like the, the breeze wasn't quite as blowing quite as hard out there and it was a little hot, but uh, but it's all right. Uh, it's, this may be our, you know, the last gasp of summer. Probably not. We'll have some more probably even in October. But, uh, but anyway, uh, the evenings are still cool and that's, that's nice. I like that. Well, let's, uh, this is, this, we're to day six of uh, chapter two of, of uh, First Samuel. And uh, if you remember as last time, uh, or when we were, came to the end of chapter one, they have a day of reflection, which is just uh, an opportunity to just kind of think about what you've been learning through the, the series of, of uh, devotionals. And so this one's no different. Uh, begins with a, a, f- a focus verse, or in this case, it's a couple of verses, and this is taken from uh, Hannah's prayer as she uh, drops Samuel off at the uh, temple to be a, uh, uh, a servant of God, to live his life there and to serve God with everything that he is. And uh, you know, God will use him to do amazing things, and we'll get more into that uh, tomorrow as we enter into chapter 3 as uh, uh, God calls uh, calls Samuel and so uh, but today we're still focusing on on his uh, early part of his life and how uh, uh, you know this prayer this this amazing prayer uh, compared with earlier in the week we compared it to uh, or last week we we compared it to uh, what Mary the way Mary uh, when she found out that she was going to have Jesus the Son of God she broke out into this song uh, this amazing song of, of the Magnificat, we call it. And a lot of comparisons between what Hannah does here and what Mary did there. And uh, a lot of a lot of good truth in this about who God is and, and that kind of thing. And so, so the, actually the, the verses we're focusing on now is, is 1 Samuel 2, verses 8 and 9. And, and this is what it says, For the foundations of the earth are the Lord's. On them he has set the world. He will guard the feet of his faithful servants. But the wicked he will 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 be silenced in the place of darkness. First uh, Samuel two eight eight and nine. Uh, it's it's really just a, a a word of praise for who God is, how great God is, God's power uh, over this this earth. So at this point in the study, take say, take some time to meditate on this verse, uh, and then uh, the, it has a couple of questions for us in this. Uh, but just think about that. What does it mean for the foundations of the earth or the Lord's? Uh, and I think it, it just means everything. Uh, just just the, the, the very basics of, of life, this, this, the soil that we walk on and the, you know, even the places we live and the, the, just the general air that we breathe and, and just everything around us is, is the Lord's. It, it's all from the Lord. It's for the Lord. Uh, even we are to be for the Lord, and, and uh, for sure we are from the Lord. And it says, He will guard the feet of His faithful servants. Uh, and you just think about that for, for a moment, how, how good it is to know that God is, is there for us, backing us up, helping us along, uh, protecting us, probably in, in uh, so many unknown ways that we can't begin to fathom. Uh, who he is and why, why, you know, how he interacts in our life. Uh, the, our prayer should be, how are we going to live, uh, you know, in response to that, to recognizing that? How are we going to see him uh, wherever we, we go? And, and that's kind of the, the first question here. It says, how will you act out Hannah and Samuel's examples to consistently praise God through what you say and how you live? Um, you know, I, I think that's that's a, a good question for us all to answer, to, to sort of plan and make sure we're intentional uh, about you know, acting out, uh, uh, consistently praising God in everything we do. Uh, you know, whether it's uh, something at home or at work or out in the community somewhere or at church or wherever, how are we going to consistently praise God uh, through all that we say and all that we do, how we how we live? Uh, it's so important. People watch us to see how we're living and if we really are living the Christian life and what kind of a difference the Lord makes in our life. And we need to be consistently praising God for all that he's done for us because he does so much, like I said before, uh, more than we even realize, I'm sure. Second question says, where do you see people today 
honoring anyone or anything more than God. Uh, boy, all over our culture, right? Uh, everyone honors anything and everything. I mean, we just, just kicked off the football season yesterday, and uh, no doubt a lot of people were honoring God or honoring football rather than God uh, yesterday and and uh, you know, over the weekend a lot of a lot of college sports and uh, sports can be that sports can can take over our hearts uh, in ways that uh, I just saw a thing on on sports betting and how it's going through the roof and it's legal now in in most states including Indiana and Illinois and and uh, how it's it's just uh, become a uh, it's an, it's it's I forget how many you know millions maybe it's billions of dollars uh, are being spent on on betting and it's just like man that's that's incredible and and the harm that that's going to cause on people uh, is is uh, it's scary to think about people go down that rabbit hole and they can't get out of it. And uh, so, so, you know, that's honoring uh, money, honoring sports, honoring, you know, the, the hope of get, getting rich quick, maybe, uh, you know, above God. And, and we see it in other ways in our, in our culture. Uh, you know, I, I think we, it doesn't take much to, to look on, on uh, uh, you know, Facebook or Instagram or any social media and you, you just see uh, so much, you know, of, of, different ways of you know, people saying different things and it's it's really in, in a lot of ways you know social media has become uh, I mean there's a lot of good on social media but there's a lot of danger danger there as well sometimes uh, I think it'd be better if we just turn that off and and you know focused on on the Lord what the Lord can do for us uh, but but that that for sure is a part of this honoring anyone or anything more than than God. And, and so when we think about that, what, what does this chapter tell us about how we should live and, and how, you know, we can help others live that way too? And I, I think that's kind of the second part of this question. And, and, I, and I think just recognizing that God is God and he's in charge, he's in control, he is overall, and this, this earth is the, his, the foundation for his, uh, you know, he's in charge of it all. He made it all. He created it all. We live for him. We're, we're to glorify him uh, with our lives, with, with our everything, and, and not get caught up in the, 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 the things of this world, the ways of this world. Uh, it's, it's such an important thing, and we, we, we just have to, have to focus on him. We have to be fully devoted, devoted to him. Well, let me uh, wrap up with uh, this. They have a prayer then in the kind of the notes section, and, and then uh, we'll go right into just a, a regular closing prayer. So uh, let, let's pray together. This, this, again, this prayer from them. It says, Lord, there is no God like you. You are my rock, my strength, my song, my deliverer, and my salvation. You guard my steps and do great things for your people. I ask you to give me a heart of praise and to help me honor you in every circumstances. I'm sorry for the times I misrepresent you, mistreat your people, neglect your word, and withhold the worship you're due. Please grow a servant heart in me today and keep me from serving myself. Amen. I, I really like that, especially those, those descriptions of who God is. You're my rock, my strength, my song, my deliverer, my salvation. Uh, he's everything. He's everything to me, and and uh, I hope he's everything to you. And and if there is an area in which I, mean, I think about, there's kind of different areas there. You think about my rock, my strength, my song is is a little bit different there. The way he brings joy to us, uh, my deliverer, my salvation, um, all of those are good good ways to to view God, to love God, to know God. I guess that's the best way of saying that. And, and we need to give him our hearts, um, you know, a heart of praise and a heart of honor uh, and, and yet service to, to him. Well, let's continue in prayer. Lord, uh, help us uh, to, to recognize who you are. Uh, even right now, Lord, impress upon us your, your presence and what it means to us. Lord, help us uh, today and every day to live for you as best we can. Forgive us where we failed you in the past, where our worship wasn't honoring and pleasing to you and where we've gone about our lives, our days, and, and just kind of, uh, not with blinders on, but for sure, just don't see you in every place that you are. 
And so, Lord, just help us. Draw us to a a deeper relationship with you. Uh, Thank you for each one that's watching today. And I just ask your blessings on them. Uh, Be with them today and every day, Lord. Help them uh, to grow closer to you and and be near to you, Lord. Uh, Thank you for all that you've done, all that you're doing, all that you're going to do. We lift up those that are in need of a physical touch from you, those that are hurting, those that are sick. Uh, Lord, you know those that that just need a touch from you. We just pray you'd be near to them. Be with those that might be discouraged today. Encourage their hearts. Again, help them to know that you are present with them. Uh, Thank you, Lord, for what we trust you're going to do there. Uh, Again, thank you for this time together. We give you praise. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, uh, thanks for for watching today. And uh, you have a great rest of your day. And uh, we'll see you later. Uh, We'll be back tomorrow with with another devotional. Uh, Bye-bye.